Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is my 22 week pregnancy update video. If you are new to following me or my pregnancy journey, I am going to link my entire first pregnancy playlist in the description of this video below. You will see our gender reveal, our week by week baby updates, as well as how we found out we were pregnant back in November. So I will link all of that below. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click that little bell for notifications. So every single week on Thursdays, when I upload my pregnancy week by week videos, you get a notification to make sure that you get to check out what is new for the week. So in terms of baby updates this week for week 22, I actually had something really exciting happen, which was I actually felt the baby move this week, which was the first time that I've actually ever felt anything that I was like, yes, that is baby flutter. That is baby Benton moving in my belly, which was so cool because honestly, I had expected to be feeling baby move much sooner than week 22. For a while, I was like, hello, <laughs> what's going on in there? What they found out whenever I had my 20 week anatomy ultrasound is that I actually have an anterior placenta, which I had no idea what that meant. What it basically means is that my placenta is on the outside like for baby, placenta, and then me. And so I am not going to feel baby's kicks or movements really until a little bit later because I have that extra like protection or barrier in between. It's totally normal to not be feeling anything yet, but I felt my first flutter this week, which is so cool. It basically felt like there was like a little popcorn kernel that popped in my stomach. Somebody else mentioned that it kind of feels like a little bubble in your stomach, which I thought was like the coolest thing ever. Ah, it's happening. We also had our 22 week doctor's appointment this week. We went and saw our OB, which was super exciting every single month that we get to do that checkout. So I will include the footage from before and after that appointment right here. We are on our way to our 22 week baby appointment. Super excited because this is the first appointment where we actually know the gender now. We'll probably hear the heartbeat, do like some of the results from our anatomy scans as we do that at another facility. And uh, yeah, it should just be a pretty routine appointment, but I'm we are parking. excited. Ooh, wide globe coming through. We're excited to hopefully hear baby today. Now that I'm parked, I can, I can uh, say hello to the people. The heartbeat of this child's gonna be like this. Well, since Emmanuel's actually here with me at this point when he wasn't here at our last one, maybe we can actually record the heartbeat today. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. a weird angle. I'm We're not sure. We're gonna get the recording. We, we will maybe try. So. Is it weird if I like get the recording of the baby's heartbeat and try to make like a mix track on it? Like, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! What do you think about that? We are out of our appointment. This was like the speediest, like literally the fastest appointment that we've ever had. You want to know why it was so easy? Because basically, lady didn't even need to put on these things or use the thing because the baby was just like boom, 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 because that's what Titans do. So the baby's heartbeat was good. It was like 141, 142. We also got a thumbs up on the anatomy scan. We also got the results back from genetic blood work. That was all good to go. It was a pretty easy checkup. They said, next time I go for my 26 week appointment, that will be when I get to do the very fun glucose test. So looking forward to doing that. Eat all the cards <laughs> before the glucose test. Especially because we just realized that four weeks from now when I'm going to do it will be the day after we get back from a vacation that we're about to go on. So probably not an ideal time to do a glucose test, but we will see how it goes. Cross my fingers. I hope it goes well. And so it's also an all-inclusive resort. So I'm going to have to drink for three, the baby, my wife, and myself. So every time after our appointments, especially since our doctor's office is like right around the corner from our favorite place. I don't know that you can Donuts. see it. We're at Dunkin' Donuts. Decaf coffee. Here I go. So you gotta take your napkin and put it over your lid like that. So you all that crumble down there, you just gotta go ahead and shake it up. Another pregnancy symptom for the week is I've been experiencing a little bit of lower back pain, which I think is totally normal to start experiencing during pregnancy, but it's definitely not been fun. I have been super active during my pregnancy, working out about five to six days a week. Right now I'm doing more lower impact workouts, but I was active before my pregnancy, so I've just been kind of keeping that up, which I've been liking. But this week I've definitely had to take it down a little bit, kind of focus more on stretching. I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time, how I'm feeling. But a couple things to note with lower back pain that I have been doing that's been helping, Number one, doing more yoga and lower back stretches have been helping. Number two, I actually just called and booked a chiropractor appointment for next week. I'm excited to see if I get any relief doing that. Number three, I actually got a standing desk for work. I am somebody that I work from home, but I do literally sit in the desk.
desk pretty much all day. So what I found is the more that I sit at my desk, the more that area of my lower back does not feel so hot. So my husband was already about to get a sit stand desk, one of those desks that like, you know, raises so you can stand and work and then you can sit and work if you want to. We finally put it together this week and that's literally where I am filming right now. I'm in his office because I've been using the standing desk for the past couple days and it has been everything. I've also been feeling super productive, had more energy this week, not only because of course I'm working out, but also because I'm standing. It's like nice outside. It's like springtime here. I am loving the sit stand desk. I think it's been so nice for my lower back. So I hope I get a little bit of relief this next week with some more stretches and hopefully the chiropractor appointment. And I will keep you posted in that department. I wanted to do a little belly shot bump date update. So this is 22 weeks. I know I have a sweatshirt on, but baby Benton is coming in strong. What is happening? This is crazy. This is 22 weeks, right, Duncan? Yeah, this is it. So the size of the baby for 22 weeks, the food item is... Ah! This is the size of our Titan. This is in there. Coconut is 22 weeks, baby size. This is pretty good size. Listen to this. Wait, can they hear? Let's see if they can hear this. How to open up a coconut. Get a bowl to catch the water. There's coconut water in here. It's gonna get yourself a little knife and then pick your weapon of choice. This can be a hammer or this can be a really heavy cleaver. There are three lines that come from the root here. One's going this way, one's going this way, one's going that way. You just, boom, hit it. I'm gonna try this for the first time. Here we go. Ah, whoa, number two. This isn't working. Supposedly, it doesn't require a lot of force. Oh, I'm cutting up in my first coconut. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, I'm in the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. 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 All you gotta do is take a knife make little strides in there, and then eventually, there are little pieces of coconut that just pop out. There you go. See what I did there? Um, I don't know if I like fresh coconut. I knew this was gonna happen. I wasn't confident how this was gonna actually come out. I mean, it So out. I bought sweetened coconut flakes. Yeah, I think you go with just sweetened coconut. So what exactly is going on? I'm making our favorite Girl Scout cookie, homemade. I am so <laughs> excited. Last week, if you recall, Emmanuel said, you're cooking, you know, it's subpar, but you know what I really love? I didn't say that. You're baking. And so I, I thought this baking. week, I gotta, gotta bake. bake. So we have some cookie dough. I'm cutting out cookies. I forgot that I didn't have any cookie cutters. I then looked around the house, thought I'd be resourceful. What could I find that is a circle? The lid to the coconut oil. Nice. Which is a nice circle. Just so happened to be a circle ring. Is that, is that my wedding ring? <laughs> yes, looking like mini donuts. All right, so we have our shortbread cookies. These are gonna go in the oven for like 10 to 13 minutes, and then the topping process begins. And now we're just doing like the topping for the Samoa cookie. So that's caramel, coconut. The recipe said they should be toasted. So I took the coconut flakes, dumped them on your cookie sheet, Cause, and cause boiled them for a bit. That's what the recipe said. Toasted said. coconut. It didn't say how you're supposed to get it toasted. It just said toasted. Dump it in to the caramel mixture. We're mixing it up. I'm mixing it up with the metal bump. On top of a cookie, this is gonna be so good. So we're gonna take one of these shortbread cookies that we made and we are going to put a little bit of caramel on it, kind of like a glue. And I think we just like do this. These look just like Girl Scout cookies, right? I do love your baking. Here's the thing, you're gonna love these and be like, whoa, those are so cool, can I have some more? And then you dip this in chocolate as the base. We're running out of time. So instead we microwaved it. But that's okay. I taste it. It still tastes good. Consistency's just a little bit off. Nailed it! <laughs> Eat it. Who needs chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like a Samoa. Conclusion is, 
Cookies were good. Cookies were good. Caramel sauce and the caramel coconut, like these mixtures, these are good. Literally the only issue that we have right now is the chocolate, so I couldn't dip it. It could use some chocolate on top and probably just chilling overall. Moral of the story is... The baby's a coconut and baby's you opened it. And, that, and you know how to open it now. You just take a hammer and whack it. I know Christine really wanted to make Samoa cookies. They aren't turning out too great. And she had to run to a call. I'm going to try to fix it so that when she gets off the call, maybe she'll be excited. I have redone the cookies so that I can eventually dip them in the chocolate. The microwave's not a good idea for trying to do chocolate. So you just get your boiling water, place your pan on top. That's what we were looking for. That's exactly what we were looking for. Let's see if she's surprised that I made the cookies. I was just gonna say it smells so good down here. Wait, did you make the rest of them too? We got a pastry shove them in here. These look so good. Did you show them this? You really fixed what I did. Did you show them the what I left you with? Oh, they saw it. These look so good. Oh my gosh, this is Girl Scout cookies. You did it. Did you try them? I tried one, you wanna try one? So they're kind of heavy. <laughs> it's like a three pound cookie. <laughs> Best husband award. I thought I had salty cravings. It's sweet cravings. So that concludes our <laughs> week 22. Baby's the size of this bad boy right here. Thank you for watching my 22 week pregnancy update video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and tune back in. Duncan, when do you tune back in? Tune back in next Thursday for our 23 week pregnancy video. Talk to you guys later. Shout out to Girl Scout Cookies. Um, if you Ooh, would, you should get a sponsorship. If you'd like to sponsor me with the <laughs> coconut cookies, lifetime supply. Clearly the homemade version just isn't happening. But I love your Samoa cookies. I want some more of your Samoa cookies. <laughs>